Hi guys, welcome to HowMachineWorks.com. Today, with the help of the animation, let's learn how a plunger pump exactly works. It's a reciprocating tape pump and also it's a positive displacement pump. First, we'll identify all the components, then we'll go into the animation and learn its working. So, let's see the components. That's the head and the body of the pump. You can also see the internal galleries very clearly there. Then we have the plunger. This is a reciprocating part of the pump. Then we have the connecting rod which connects towards the drive rotor. That's the drive rotor rod there. Then we have the valve springs and that's the fluid inside the pump. And those are the valve balls which closes the valve port. Now let's see how it exactly works. See, the rotor gets a drive and it rotates. When it rotates towards the top, what happens is that the plunger reciprocates towards the front. As a plunger reciprocates towards the front, a pressure is created both towards the inlet and outlet valve. So the flow is created over there and that goes and hits both the valves. First it hits the inlet valve you can see and it closes the inlet valve very firmly and the inlet is firmly closed. And when it hits the outlet valve, the outlet valve is pressured and it opens up. And as the outlet valve opens up, the oil can escape over there. You can see further uh, the rotor is rotating and the plunger moves further towards the front which pushes the oil outside through the outlet. So that's how the discharge is happening in a plunger pump. This is called as a positive displacement pump because whenever it rotates there is a discharge. Now further it moves backwards. You can see further as the uh, rotor rotates what happens is that the plunger is now moving towards the backward direction. So a low pressure is created at this point and that creates a suction. Now the suction is happening. So you can clearly see the suction is happening all there and as a result of that it creates a suction force on both the valves and that helps the inlet valve to open up over there. The inlet valve opens up and oil enters through the inlet valve and that's carried away uh, into the uh, actually into the body of uh, the plunger pump itself so that gets into the body of the plunger pump but the outlet valve will be closed at its condition now further the rotor rotates and the plunger moves backwards again and the pressure the suction force the law pressure uh, further increases and the suction further increases for more oil is getting inside towards the plunger pump. At this time the discharge of the outlet is firmly closed but the suction is happening. And the same process continues as it rotates further. You can see the plunger moves towards the front. It pressurizes the oil. Inlet is firmly closed. Outlet gets open and the discharge happens. And the plunger further moves towards the front. More amount of discharge is happening. So this is how simply a, a plunger pump actually works. I believe you understand the working of it through this animation. So we'll be uploading more technical videos on a daily basis. So please click the subscribe button for getting updates. You can click the like button, share or comment to motivate our team. You can also visit our website or our YouTube channel for more such technical content. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.